What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing this fine, fine uh, Wednesday night around, right around 11 o'clock? Hey, so uh, real quick, this video is going to be on a Mizuno glove that has tightening fingers but has web knots on this side and this side. Not web knots, but uh, not you know, knots on each side. So, uh, as you know, Wilson does that. This has the tightening fingers. So, um, uh, has the tightening fingers, but it about, it puzzled me because I was just like, Oh, wait a minute. This is crazy because, um, it has an extra hole right there on the index. So I called the guy, uh, that works for Mizuno, super nice guy. And he guided me through it. And I asked him if I could do a video for you guys. And he said, um, for sure, go ahead and do it. So his his website is glovedocs.com. Uh, if you need him, uh, if you're close to Ohio and need a glove repair, give him a holler. So without further ado, we're going to get started. First things first, we're going in this hole here, pinky and angling up. Angling up. And out that side right there. there we go. You want to leave about about four inches at least. So I'm gonna leave it pretty long. Okay. There we go. Keep it smooth side up. We're going across the top. Okay. This is the ring finger. Going across the top and out that hole right there perfect and let's see there we go now all right we're going to the middle finger now <clears throat> same thing up oh. and across just like that, across the top. And once I, once he guided me through it, it took him like five minutes to guide me through it. it. It didn't take long. Once he guided me through it, it was a cinch. I was just like, oh wow, that's just, that's super crazy how Mizuno, <laughs> it, it just, how they lace their gloves up. All right. And to finish this off, we are going, okay, in the index finger, right here, going in the index, we're angling down and coming out that hole right there, okay? Going straight across, so I'm going to put that in the camera here, all right, going, going across and angling down. Just like that. So from that side, and it's gonna come across here and coming down just like that. So your smooth side is up. That's what you're left off with. So we went up at an angle, came across here, and then we finished off going down at an angle and coming out. That's the first part of it. So sorry folks, got sirens going off everywhere. I hope everything is okay. And uh need to pray for those families in Texas. That's just a sad ordeal. We need to I tell you what, this uh, United, this nation really needs God right now, God and Jesus, and people ain't trying to hear it, but I tell you what, that's what they need. We need good old-fashioned prayer back in school and stuff like that, so we definitely need God and Jesus right now, so, <laughs> but now, to get to the other side, to get to the, do the, the X part, 
All right, we're starting in this hole right here and coming out. Them sirens are awful close there. And coming out the top hole on the pinky right there. Backside pinky, top hole right there. This is a Mizuno finger tightening. Uh, this is how, this is actually a softball glove. I'm doing it for a buddy of mine. So. And I'm glad I had it because it's uh, a new experience for me. Now we're going down at an angle. This is the ring finger. We're coming out the back. Right there. So we went through. Coming down. First start. Came through here. Came through the top pinky. We're going down at an angle, a bottom hole, and coming out this hole right here. Now we're going to start forming the X pattern. There we go. Yeah. All right. Getting there, folks. Once I laced it up, it was not hard at all. I was just like, wow, it just puzzled me. So now we're coming, we came out the back, ring finger, coming through here and out the front, right there. Pinky, bottom hole, came from the ring back over to the bottom pinky. Right there. Make sure your lace is straight. Perfect. Just like that. That's what it looks like right there. Get a twist there. There we go. Alright, now here we go. We're forming our X now. Alright. I go, I'm going to go under. It's not a big deal. It doesn't, I usually do factory. That's how I, that's how I kind of do it. So. <clears throat> I'll go. Yeah. Make sure that is smooth side. There we go. All right. From here, let me get my lace straight. From here, we're going just like that, straight across. Ring finger, go. did is come up come through boom all right now it's a repetitive pattern until we get to the end okay down padding likes to get in the way so you got to kind of move it out the way Go. There we go, just like that. From here, angle down, going out the back, just like we did on the other side there. Go. 
go. <clears throat> Make sure your lace is straight before you pull it through. Smooth that up. Back through here. And out the bottom. Just like that. Do that. And finger. Out the bottom. Go. And. Twist this one. Pull this back out. Like I said, make sure that lace is straight. Because I. Tell you what, you don't. You gotta go all the way back to it again. There. And out that hole right there. go this is what you should have so far okay all right go under you can go under or over doesn't make a difference good Same thing, just like on, oops, let's drop one. Just like on this finger here, I'm gonna go straight across. Okay, straight across and over. There go. Sorry, folks. I'll get one back with. I'll get it back in focus here. There we go. Make sure that's smooth side. Yes, it is. All right. All right. We're almost there, folks. Sorry. Come in. Back down. Coming out the back, just like that. Oops. Coming out the back, just like that. Now we're on the index finger, okay? Go. Don't worry about this, because it tightens up. Coming back across the back. <clears throat> across the back. Out that hole right there. Go. Index. We came through. Out the back, coming across. Out the bottom hole, right there. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here's the ending part. Here's where you're going to make your double knot from the pinky side to the web side. So I'm going under. That's straight. Okay, now here we go. Here's where you're going to be finishing up. From here, we're going in this hole, we're going right under, we're going right in that lake, right in that hole where that single knot is. Okay. Here we 
we are. When you flip the glove over, that's what you're gonna see. Here's the lace here that we gotta tie off to. Coming right by that web. Let me get my finger out the way. Right by that web knot, right there. Okay. <clears throat> Fix that. Go. All right. Take my needle off here. I'm gonna snip it. I'm gonna snip these laces. All right. I'm cut here. There you go, folks. That's where your that's where your knot ties off right here, and right here. That's how you do the Mizuno. It is a G MVP twelve fifty PF three W twelve and a half inch softball glove, and it's a fast pitch model. As you can see right there, that's how you do the tightening fingers on that model of glove. So. Uh, and what you do is you tie this knot off by the web as well as the pinky side. So you're going to have two, uh, two knots, one on each side. I'm about to show you that now. There. Come over and under. Okay, there's that one. That's why it shows it in the picture. Okay. Now we're going to tie this one off. We are good to go. Right there. There it is, folks. Of course, I'll clip them laces. They're too long. I'll clip those laces. That is how you do it for that style of glove. So if anybody has any questions, leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.